This is a video of our England tour, October 2009. We visited the city of Edinburgh. We travelled from Stanford upon Avon north towards the Scottish border and we stopped at a, uh, on the A1 freeway in a place called Lamberton and it was fairly dark at night time. We I sat on the wall that divided Scotland from England or Britain uh, in way back in the day and uh, here's Linda standing beside the, the border marker from England and Scotland. We arrived at the hotel very late close to Edinburgh and then the next day we travelled into Edinburgh city for our tour. As we drove in, we stopped to take a video of this old church which was turned into a, a building called The Hub for the Public Arts. Once we'd found a parking spot, we had a closer look at The Hub and um, then we went for a walk around the streets nearby. And this is where I lost all my footage of the Edinburgh Castle. Here's a map of the hop on hop off bus tours route and uh, here's a photograph of one of the buses that was parked near the castle. I recommend taking these hop on hop off bus tours but make sure that you spend the rest of the day walking around the main attractions. This is the grass market area and on a Saturday they had the market stalls out the front. Lots of typical English shops, novelty shops and other stuff. We did stop in and have a look at one of the shops that had Scottish tartans and Scottish kilts and things like that and I lost the video of that as well. This is a video of the Queen's Gallery which was opened in 2004 and shows a royal collection of artworks. Here's the Greyfriars Free Church, nothing to do with Greyfriars Bobby the Dog. And we pass the Burns Monument, which commemorates the great poet and writer. Here's a video of the back of Edinburgh Castle, built on Castle Rock, or Castle Hill. The history of Castle Rock dates right back around the Roman period, when it's believed that the hill was occupied by the barbarians, and then around the 1100s, it was built or occupied by um, rich people like nobles and then later on the King of Scotland and the royal family have had something to do with it ever since. It's now pretty much a tourist attraction and over that barbed wire wall is where the um, Edinburgh tattoo takes place and you can see the seating arrangements in place there. This old church is called the Hub now, it's an arts gallery of sorts. It used to be part of the St Gillies Kirk or Toothbook Kirk um, ch church groups. Uh, seems to be about four churches in Edinburgh linked to each other in congrega different congregations. Everybody, 
is the front of the building. We started our walking tour of the city centre of Edinburgh. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of video, and here's the museum on the mound. When we walked up the street towards the St. Giles Cathedral, which is also called the High Kirk of Edinburgh, it's in a parish church in the old town of Edinburgh. It's interesting to note that it was founded in the 12th century and was dedicated to St. Giles and then in the, by Pope Paul II in 1467 and then sometime after that it became a Protestant church in the John Knox era of the Scottish Reformation outside the High Court Judiciary or the Parliament Square uh, was this bagpipe player. Scott's Monument was built in 1832 to commemorate the famous Scottish author Sir Walter Scott. As a result of a competition, a local joiner and draftsman by the name of George Kemp won the competition. The National Gallery of Scotland was open to the public in 1859. It's built on the mound near Scott's Monument and it's full of old Scottish portraits and obviously other artefacts and antiques and I thoroughly enjoyed this building. I love portraits of that era and pre prior to that era. Unfortunately I lost most of the video of the interior of this building. I only have a few JPEG pictures of um, some of the artwork. It will give you a general impression of what the National Gallery is like. It's beautiful. Here's an image of Rembrandt. Uh, Scottish Highlander dressed up. And a bloke called Ashley. Uh, Lord Molesworth. After a good look around the National Gallery of Scotland. It was time to leave Edinburgh and head for the next hotel. And on the way out, we drove past the view of the Edinburgh Castle, basically the back wall. You can see from the steep cliffs. It would be hard to attack this from this side. In the distance, you can see a large wind farm. Obviously they've got a lot of wind because there's no trees on this hill. And we headed further northwest down the A9 and not towards Perth, but and we stayed at out the outskirts of Stirling overnight and the countryside changed. It was green and lush and beautiful. And it was quite a comfortable drive. And I let Linda drive because they drive on the correct side of the road in Scotland. The next day was the 18th of October 2009 and we drove again through the countryside towards Glenoric and the National Park through that area. And the scenery again was absolutely gorgeous and we started to see these tall fog covered mountains with no grass, just wind swept valleys and absolutely gorgeous. So we started to see some of these higher mountains in the Orchi area and and through the Black Mount district and then uh, past the Signal Rock which is on the left there 
then we moved into more locks, Lock Levin and Lock Linley, heading towards Fort Williams. And this is about when I started to get a bit cocky and pass some cars. I don't normally pass cars in foreign countries. Then we moved into the Glencoe Mountain District. And there's a waterfall. Here's Glencoe Photography House. Never heard of the word photography. And it's on a plane towards Bullockshire. Then the scenery started to change colour with that bronze rich brown grasslands with no trees and obviously windswept mountains and fog on the mountains and um, somewhere in this area is some, um, Three Sisters viewpoint obviously looking over three mountains We continued our journey towards Fort William and up towards Loch Ness and that will be in the next video. The video was produced by myself and it's the end of another exciting video of our England tour October 2009, Edinburgh and the surrounding Highland districts. <laughs>